hello guys welcome back so in this tutorial we will see how to add a custom field on a custom object like employee and also we'll try to add a custom field on a standard object like account okay so now let's go ahead and go over to the object manager so let me delete this and we'll go over to the object manager here so you go to the setup and then once you open up the setup this is the object manager that will come next to the home page so we'll go to the object manager and from this object manager i will select my custom object so if you go over to the employee object here this is the custom object ends with underscore underscore c and now the fields that are available under this employee object are these set of standard fields we already seen created by id it'll give you the id of the user who created the record name is basically the record identifier of the uh, of this record it can either be a text field or it can be an auto number and last modified by id it will give the id of the user who last modified the record and the owner id would be the id of the who owns the record so now the next thing is if i want to create a new field a new custom field on this employee object i can do that by creating a clicking on this new button so let's say i wanted to store employees phone number so what will i do i'll go to the new and i will create a new field on this object employee and let's say i want to capture the phone number so i will choose the information type that i will be storing in that field is a phone so i'll be selecting phone as the data type here hit the next and what is the name the label i will call this as employee phone so this is the field i am creating and hit the next button and uh, this field is visible to all the profiles so these are the standard list of profiles that are there in salesforce and i am making this new field visible on all the profiles hit the next so any profile would be able to see that field on that employee object hit the save button so now i have created a new field and you can see here this is the only field which is a custom field and it ends with underscore underscore c which tells you that it's a custom field and this is the field i can even delete it so if i have created this field by mistake i have the option of deleting this field but this option is not available on any of the other fields i can edit this name field but i cannot delete the field similarly there is no option to delete the remaining fields like created by id last modified owner i cannot do anything with those standard fields i can only delete the custom field now you can add a custom field on a standard object as well so let's say if i go over to the object manager and from here from this object manager let's say i pulled up this account and i go over to the fields and relationship these are the existing fields that automatically are been available on the account object now all the standard fields that i talked about which is last modified by id this field is also available last modified by id this field is also available on the account object the next one is the created by that field is also available on this account and then the other one was the owner id this field is also available on the on this account object so all the standard list of fields that we talked about earlier what were the standard list of fields there was a name field then there was a created by id field then there was owner id field last modified date field was also there so these are the standard list of fields that are automatically available on every object no matter it's a standard object or it's a custom object now if i want to add a custom field on this account object i can do that by going over to the account go under the fields and relationship and click on new button and let's say the field i wanted to is the same one like phone field let's say it's going to store a phone number and uh, we will call this as personal account phone number let's say this is the name of the field and when you tab out automatically this field will be 
automatically populated and hit the next. Now this field is automatically visible to all the profiles and then I have selected this visible checkbox next to all the profiles. Hit the next button and save. Now I'm able to delete this custom field. So if you go over here, this is the field I just added personal account num phone number and you can see here it ended with underscore underscore C because it's a custom field and I also have the option of deleting this field so once I delete this field if I go over to the so now I have deleted the field and if I go over to the deleted field section you will see the fields I have deleted are available under this deleted fields now these fields will remain here for 15 days so after 15 days these fields will automatically will be removed and will no longer be available within these 15 days if you want to put it back okay if you want to undelete it i can go ahead and click on this undelete here next to the personal account phone number and this field will automatically will be added back okay so if i go ahead and uh, go to okay now you can see here if the personal account phone number field is available under the account object because I undeleted it. Okay, so if I go over to the fields and relationship and if you look for the phone number field that I have just put it back, personal account phone number, it has been added. Now if I want to delete it, I can delete it again. Okay, so if I go over to the phone number, the custom field that I've created, which is this, I can go ahead and delete it and it will remain in this deleted fields for the next 15 days. So if I just have made my mind that I don't need it after 15 days, I can even hard delete it. So I can go ahead and click on the erase. It will basically remove all the metadata and system data for the field. If you wanted to go ahead and undelete it, you can click on this undelete and it will put you back under the account object. So you can create a custom field on the standard object like account lead and also you can add a custom field on the custom object. Now the another important thing is you can delete a custom field but you cannot delete a standard field. So if you go here the standard fields are like created by ID. This is a standard field. So if you go over here, created, this is a standard field and there is no button to delete this field because it's a standard field. You cannot delete a standard field. When we enter a record into this employee object, who created it? Tipika Khanna, because I'm the one who is logged in and I created the record. And when, when did I last modify it? So let's say if I go ahead and change it Currently, it is showing 5-18-2021. Let's say I changed it, Deepika Khanna, to let's say my name is Deepika Aalok. Let's go ahead and hit the save here. Then you'll say the modified will be updated. So now it will pick up the latest modified date. So these are the standard list of fields that are available on every object. And you've already seen how you can add a custom field. So you can go over to the object manager pick up the employee object and then you can click on new under fields and relationship and you can add a field. So let me repeat here. So I'll go over to the, I can do it directly from this page itself. So if I go click on the gear icon, click on the edit object, it'll automatically take me to the object manager for the employee because I was under the employee object. So what I did was after being under the employee record, I went to the gear icon and I said, edit the object. So when I said edit the object, it directly brought me over to this object manager for the employee. And under fields and relationship, you can go ahead and uh, create a new custom field by clicking on the new button. So let's say if I want to store the address of the employee. If you want to store the address, you can choose something like a text field to capture the address. So let's say I will call it as a text field here and then here I can call this field as employee address and uh, the length for the field is let's say 200 characters that's the length and then next this field is visible to all the profiles by default next and the save so what i've done here is i have added another field called employee address you can see here automatically it ended with underscore underscore c which means it's a custom field 
and also I do have the option of deleting this custom field. Okay, so this is how you create a custom field and also we saw the difference between the standard fields and the custom field.